Now the first step is to run these files. Now for this, make a right click on the game select manage, click on browse local files and then open PSPC folder. Here you can see install PSPC HDK runtime, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This process will take some time. Now once done, you can press any key on the keyboard on this and then run the second file, make a double click and let it complete. Now once done, run the third file, make a double click, click on yes to allow and once done, now you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the config folder. When you delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost and this may result in compiled shaders once again. Now for this you can open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data at the top click, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder and okay to delete the config folder actually open c drive then open users folder your username folder open saved game folder over here and here you can see the game folder open the folder saved folder here you can see config folder so you can rename it or you can even delete it and then you can check now if that does not work uh, you can rename sl.pcl.dll file. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open the engine folder, plugins folder, runtime, NVIDIA, streamline, binaries, third party, Win64 and here you can see sl.pcl.dll. If you want to create a backup, you can copy this, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, you can rename this file. If you face any problem, you can just you can remove the the rename. You can just rename it the way it was before. So now you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. Then rename this D3DS cache and lost soul aside folder. Create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, you can do this. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, username folder, app data folder, local folder. Here you can see D3DS cache. Now you can just create a backup if you want. You can copy this folder. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder. And then again, go to this PC, C drive, users, username, saved games and you can rename this folder. Uh, create a backup first. Copy this. You will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So once you have a backup, now you can rename this. Now you can launch the game and then check. Uh, still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for instead of launching the game from steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work op op open this project folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working. This time you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, 
go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 close this launch the game and then check still not working this time you can try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on start search and then install the latest graphic card driver download and once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file uh, click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here then click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next after the clean installation is done now restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file from here and then click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select high performance over here now you can launch the game next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options now over here in your case you might see power saver you can select power saver here and then you can launch the game you can even try balanced or high performance check which one is working fine for you next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is on turn it off and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work if it is already off turn it on and then you can check next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running that is card running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can turn off overlay from here turn off overlay and close all the overlay application close all the overclocking first of all do not uh, overclock if you have overclocked then set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner running close it if you have any third party services running uh, close it or any kind of application running close it unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer and disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor remove the undervolt if you have undervolt to the computer next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings and then under advanced click on the first settings advanced change uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size now for initial size 1.5 multiplied total ram now for this uh, you can check how much ram you have it so go to system and then go to about so in my case it's 16 gb ram now we have to uh, we can make these changes if you, if if it does not work if you, uh, you we can always revert back so for this uh, in my case as per my computer uh, like i have 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram 16 multiplied 1024 that is in megabyte 16384 multi multiplied 1.5 
two, four, five, seven, six initial size. That is in my case. Now maximum size is, is three multiplied total RAM. Total RAM is again 16 multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied three. That is 49152. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Click on set. Click on OK. And then click on OK. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, type in view advanced system settings. Click on view advanced system settings and then settings, advanced, change. Uh, this time select system managed size. You have to select the drive where the game is installed and then click on set. Click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Restart your computer and after the system restart you can check. Still not working. In that case we will revert back. So you can click on settings, advance, change. Put a check over here. Click on OK. 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 Now follow the next step. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. So for this uh, you can go to Microsoft website. So go to Microsoft website, go to the official website and here you can see Visual Studio files. Now here you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both the file x86 file and you have to install and run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, Make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.